Donald Trump's wife Melania has weighed into the Republican presidential candidate's campaign for the first time since the October 7th release of recorded sexual comments damaged him in the polls. She described Trump's unguarded statements as boy talk and that he'd been egged on to make them. For his part, her husband's again been insisting the election will be fixed and that he might not accept the result. Killing Obama. They even want to try to rig the election at the polling booths. And believe me, there's a lot going on. Do you ever hear these people? They say, there's nothing going on. People that have died 10 years ago are still voting. Illegal immigrants are voting. It's unprecedented for a major U.S. candidate to declare the result invalid before the election's held. And Trump's claim of rampant voter fraud is unproven. Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton should be smiling. But there's a new claim against her that the State Department pressured the FBI to downgrade confidentiality on one of her leaked emails. It's yet another slippery inconsistency that appears to be reflected in the public opinion polls. Despite Hillary's widening lead over Trump, takeoff is elusive. The Democrats' lead is more driven by antipathy towards the challenger than enthusiasm for the former Secretary of State. There remain the House and Senate battles, and much party attention appears to be swinging towards them.